Welcome back to the man cave. Today we are going to be doing a brake job on a 2017 Audi Q5. Front, rear brake pads and rotors. This car has the Brembo brake setup on the front and on the rear has just regular single piston brake caliper, but it has parking brake, electronic parking brake. So what we're gonna do is we are going to have to pull our scan tool out, go through the tool and um, release that lock that's inside there on the emergency brake. So gotta bring you along for this little repair and um, show you what we're doing here today in the man cave. All right, we'll get started. All right, we got the tires off of it on the front. Come in here. Um, these are Brembo brakes. They don't say it, but they're made by Brembo. Got your lines here, feed both sides. It's gonna be four piston setup, two per side, as you can see. Two here, two here. So, come in here, we'll get this removed off the back. There's a bolt, another bolt there. Get this removed, squeeze these back to take the, push the pistons back in. Get all the hardware moved off, pins out, pin here, pin here. Get those removed, get this off, pull these out, and we'll be able to access our caliper. It's got a Torx bit, uh, I'm not sure on the size, but it's Torx thread, our Torx bit style. Remove that, hammer a couple times, it'll bust that loose. I'm gonna clean this off, because you can tell there is a little bit of rust on there. So we'll get that cleaned off and um, put some antiseeds in there so the next time it won't be so hard to take off. And um, get these brakes going back on it. real quick um how you saw we removed the the uh torx bolt there pulled the rotor off we cleaned that you saw me do that with a uh, wire brush put some uh anti-seize kind of stuff back around on there so that it hopefully won't stick again keep this in here just to kind of just to line it up for that so we come in here on this this is a caliper back here and uh, let me go to light And um, you can see in there, those little straight edges where those brakes have been rub rubbing. She's hearing squeaking noise. That is one of the complaints of this. And um, so we cleaned those off real well. We're gonna take some of that anti-seize as well and put in there. And uh, that will hopefully help keep, you know, with the squeak as well. We're gonna throw a little bit on the backside of the pad as well where it rubs there on the pistons themselves. Those are cleaned up really well and um, then we'll get this back installed. And also your caliper. Use a hanger of some sort to keep that from just hanging there loosely. You never want to let that hang by the hose itself. As you can see our hose is it's not binding at all. So use something to hold those up. Don't just let them hang. All right, we'll get this put back together and I'll bring it back over for we go we got these installed got the two bolts back on the one there and another one right here 
It was put back on. You saw that everything was cleaned up. I went ahead and threw a little bit of uh, anti-seize squeak, whatever you want to call it. We, I use a copper base anti-seize. And it, um, I put that on the corners, edges of each pad and on the back side of each pad where it hits the piston. And then all new hardware. I uh, did not get new slides, but I got new hardware. They went in really nice. They were, they were clean, they're not worn bad at all. So, and as you can see, they came through to the front side, just a little bit of anesthesia there so that it slides up into the hole a little better. It, can, it locks itself back here once it goes through there. So there it is all put back on and uh, we'll move on to the other side. All right, we got the fronts back together. Everything's back on, doing what it's supposed to do. And um, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and jump to the back. A little time lapse on that. I'll kind of bring you in and show you what we're doing when we're getting to that point. And uh, the back's a little different. Um, we will go ahead and let the car down, cook up my scan tool, see if we can release this parking brake through the scan tool. There's a manual way to do it, but scan tool is the best way to do it. And I should be able to, I have a scan tool that should communicate with this. So we're going to try that. We'll bring you along for that. Uh, show you what we got to do. And, um, like I said, a little, a little different on the back, not harder to do the brake job. It's a little harder to do all the setup to get the parking brake to release being that it's electronic. So. All right, well, let me get the car down and we'll get inside with the scan tool and see what we uh, can get done. All right, here we are with the scanner. Let's see if we can do this with one hand while I hold this uh, camera. And uh, yes, that's what we want. 17Q5. <clears throat> Looks like we might have found it here. Finally, under special functions, took a little bit to find it. So let's go to park brake replacement function, park brake basic setting function. There it went. Basic setting complete successfully. So from what I understand, we leave it. Get it lifted up. Do the brakes. Hopefully our battery don't go dead. So, all right. Let's go over here and let's get this going. All right, here we are. We got the power off. Brakes are should be off according to the scan tool. What we'll do, same thing kind of as the front. We'll move that Torx uh, nut, that bolt there. Come back right around here on the back side. And we will, I'd like to go ahead and just remove the brake system itself. So we'll remove these two here. And after we get those off, we'll come in here and we'll remove the actual bracket that's on it. This bracket here. There's a bolt there, and there'll be another bolt. Yeah, up under here somewhere. It's in there. Anyways, we'll get those out, then we'll run that uh, caliper back in on both sides, then we'll go back in there and recalibrate this electronic um, emergency brake right there. All right, here we go. We'll put it back on time lapse. Alright, well 
here's the tool we're going to use. You're just going to squeeze this back in. I already squeezed it. I thought it was recording and it wasn't. So my bad, but this little tool will squeeze it back in. As you can see, it's all the way back closed. You just want to watch this boot as you close it back up, make sure it closes back in like it should. You don't want it to get pinched between the new pads that go on there and stuff. So but other than that, that's all it takes. So, all right, we'll get the rest of these put back on. We'll see how it does. All right, here we go. Two 18 millimeter bolts that are here. Got one here and one right there. These all both have to come out. Clean that up, pop these out, pop in your new pads, and um, put a little um, uh, grease or something on there that keep them from squeaking. Get them all cleaned up and it'll, it'll go back together good. I'm gonna grease these as well. Pull these out, pop them out, put in new grease. All right, there you go. All right, we took a wire brush to these um, this hub area where this goes on, then we put a little bit of anti-seize on there, and that way, so we're about to stick it next time and making a good contact for sure this time went in clean inside the caliper as well off the piston area and there we went ahead and put some grease and stuff and our anti-seize in those as well and got those back in so we'll get those put back on the vehicle and we'll see what it does all right here we go we've got parking brake back on and you cannot turn it so it's a good deal that's what we wanted to happen we took the scan tool and we um, just uh, re, uh, actually we closed the program and um, it, when we closed it, it um, you could hear it turning back, locked down, retracted about a quarter turn, said the uh, program was complete. So there you go. If you, um, if you've got a scan tool, that's how you do it. All right, here we are back with it all put on. Um, we still got to put those little center caps on, but I just wanted to show you this um, brake on. Uh, yeah, and it's not moving. So emergency brakes back. We'll figure out how to release it here in a little bit, make sure it works like it's supposed to. And we'll go give it a test drive. So, all right, well, we got the car out. We went and test drove it and it runs and drives great performs as it should and um, recap a little bit what we did uh, we did a front and rear brake job complete uh, pads and rotors and um, this is a uh, this car had the electronic brake set up on it so we released that with the scan tool so but there you go uh, 2017 Audi Q5 all-wheel drive and complete full brake job all right thanks for watching